I like the sound effects in the menu. They're like, it's like just because it has that like ship sound, so you, you just get to listen to like the sound of like I don't know, like atmosphere or something. I don't know what it sounds like, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's good. And the loading screen. What happened last time? So last time we learned about like Sarah doing some weird stuff and that that guy that died on the um whatever that like paradise or something wasn't it that's what it was called so what we learned last time is that um Sarah was stationed on another like space colony I believe that had an AI that potentially killed somebody and she was looking into it right um she also lied to Natalie about her chances of of um of cryo freezing but by doing so basically created an alternate plan for the crew to save everybody by sure uh jury rigging um us and it's like a cargo a, thing, a yeah. cargo pod to transport everybody other than Natalie, Sarah and Roberta uh, in cryofreeze to cut down on oxygen intake to get them basically from the Tacoma station to the moon yeah. in order to save them because Tacoma got hit by a, a meteor or, or debris of some sort and has like been no calm, knocked out comms and knocked out like air supply and stuff like that. So, yeah. So it's going to be, uh, hopefully, it's not going to be as grim of an episode as last time. But, I uh, hope not. Yeah, it was kind of sad, but yeah. Um, and we had already followed. Uh, I think it was Evie and uh, Clive, Clive, and then we and Robert, we followed Natalie Roberta and Natalie. And Roberta, so we got to follow like and I think I don't know if these two are together at all, but yeah, okay. Yeah, let's follow both of those. All right, uh, I'm gonna hit that play button. All right, what do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I mean, me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success. Then get the hell out of your way as quickly Hi, as possible. Hi, Sir Ribbit. Time is oxygen, people. Hi, right. Sir Ribbit. I'll, um... Along with this. I'll head downstairs and get started on... something. Okay. Uh, we'll go with Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Oh, maybe they are together. Okay. Andrew. Yeah. Sure. Hey, are, are you okay? Evie! Hey, nope, Evie. I'm not. Okay. Well, do you want to talk about... I can't do it. Uh, I can't. I can't. I... This is all crazy. But you said you... I know. You all... You all pressured me. Andrew. They, they really expect us to climb into some jury-rigged thing and ride it through space? Just because VT might not come pick us up, it's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege. Well, some of us do. Andrew, I, I don't know what to say. Bert and Nat need us. They need you. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not. I'm going to be the same one here. No, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Listen, just... Don't talk to anybody else oh, no. about this for now, okay? Oh. And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just... Give me a little time. Uh, should we stay with him? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Odin. Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I, I just want to go home. I understand. <laughs> do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me 
The average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4 hours. God damn it. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... <laughs> if we don't make it out of this, can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, all right? Of course. Oh, he has a data thing. Yeah. This will pause it. Okay. Huh. Yeah, he really just doesn't want to go in. I can understand yeah. why. Yeah. Uh, so his, like, husband or, uh, yeah, wants to, like, have him out of here? Like, he, they yeah. want him to come home? Aww. Uh, yeah. Gosh, everybody, everybody's like families or like other obligations. They just don't want to be here, but they have to be here for like money and stuff. Man, it's yeah, almost like yeah. capitalism is garbage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't like being cold in the crowd stasis either. Yeah. I mean, look what happened to everybody in May. May's crew. <laughs> Okay, so he was trying to t say something, but he can't. Yeah. Oh, where are we leaving him? He's still, there's, oh, he's yeah. still going. Yeah. Well, looks like this will work. Give us a few extra hours anyway. Thanks, Odin. Okay, should I rewind to where... Uh... Okay, Evie! Sarah I... walks out. Hello? Yeah, we're still going. Guess I'll catch up with y'all later then. Yeah. Yeah, let's rewind to... Five and I follow you over there right now. Right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just give me a little time. <sighs> Odin, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt billows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Your feet parted with each Wait, step. Is this now, you think? Or? Do you see yeah. what is in Okay. I was not like pausing it. It's kind of hard, but... Yeah. Okay. That's all she's on. Front of you. As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so the dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. Oh. 
I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it less. takes yeah. me is where I am meant to be. This is interesting. I've never I seen a video game like do like basically reproduce what a panic attack looks like. Yeah. Sarah. Yes, Odin. Are you going to be all right? I think so. Oh, Evie. Uh, do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do so go. Who do we in. miss? All right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. I don't think we missed but anybody. Clive and I follow you over there. Yeah, we just right missed a desktop. Get ours done. No oh, did we? Yeah, because I think oh, we didn't maybe. want to pause it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, whose desktop did so. we miss? Maybe one of Roberta and. Uh, it'll say. When it, it'll say oh, okay. in a little because yeah, it shows the color. Oh. Yeah. We'll just oh. It. Yeah. It was. Oh, okay. It was Evie. Right yeah. There. Yeah. Okay, meeting with uh, everybody. Everybody. That wait, what? Seventy-two hours of oxygen. How much oxygen? I mean, hardly any at all. Where are you going with this? They're just trying to figure out how much time she has. Uh, I think she's trying to. I think she's maybe the one that came up with the plan, mm. or both of them did, or like. Right. Oh, I see what you're saying. So they're trying to fit. Like she's saying, like, hmm, maybe we could like do this. Well, because remember, they originally weren't going to put anybody under cryo. They were just like. Right. They were, they just, were just gonna. gonna... And Evie was like, no, we're going to put some of us under cryo because that gives you more time right. to try and figure this out, how to make this work. Yeah. But it seems like cryo is really not long term. No, it doesn't sound like it. It sounded like they only really did it just for. Well, see, what is it even there for? It's only there for if like, because didn't they already put somebody in cryo that was like, like injured, or something? No, no, that was they didn't no. put them in cryo. I thought they used. No, they. Just, they they used talked just... about using cryo or so. They haven't really talked about how long cryo is though. I guess. No. Because I, I was like, why do they even have it? I guess it's just emergency, like this. Yeah. Well, yeah, because technically you're supposed to put yourself into cry and wait until help shows up, right. but it's clear that no one trusts. Yeah, he said it was like 90-something hours, Odin said, I think, right? 98 hours until help usually sh usually shows usually, up. yeah, so... If you had forty more than forty eight hours to work with, okay, holding on, checking, hold on, check on something, checking on something, huh? So she yeah, just, because yeah, yeah, she's totally saying like yeah, okay, let's just put people into cryostasis and save you time, save you time, yeah, or give you give you more time, yeah, basically. because I guess if they could just do it while everyone's awake, then you don't need to have people in cryostasis, but they don't yeah. have time. What if we weren't sending it down to get supplies? Oh, I see. So this is where they're coming up with the whole idea. Yeah. Okay. Well, they came up. I mean, they made... They made it sort of, uh, hopefully... Well, I don't know if it worked, but they had a, They got a good idea going, at least, for what this horrible situation they're in. Yeah, because... This is basically maybe their only option, yeah. or else they're all go all going to die. Yeah, like that's just a lot of pressure on uh, Bert and, uh, and Natalie. Bert and Natalie. Yeah. Um. Okay. I guess that was this room. So I guess that transfer is complete. Yeah, maybe. Because it was just botany and uh, whatever the other. Botan. Was. Yeah, botany and medical. Medical. Odin appears to be mentally intact, just dormant. Did he say anything before? No, I was trying to wipe all the AR crew. Okay, so I guess we got this one. Okay, I will be right back because my food is almost here. Okay. So.
Proceed immediately to the engineer module. The latter requirement is of highest priority to get the physical processing medium. We're going to go to the core. Alright. Going back to the hub. I like this, like, the, the travel to the hub is kind of fun. Yeah, the crew left, the crew got evacuated, it can mean anything. Uh, anything related in the observation area, but at least has a nice view. Okay, we can go there first before we go to engineering. Uh, but I'll wait for Apple. Where is engineering? Oh, it's over there. Cryogenics, which we haven't been to. Or have we? No, I don't think we have. Okay. Because so we've been to biomedical and uh, personnel. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, are we going to the observation yeah. area to look at things? Yeah. yeah. We're almost at the, the dome. <laughs> the Tacoma dome. Oh, there's data here too. Mm. That looks like uh, maybe Natalie and Roberta. So, okay. you really or no, Evie. Huh? Well, it just seems like it'd be strange being back on Earth already <laughs> after only a year up here. Really? After all I've had to hear from you about the conditions VT has us working under? Yeah, but there's that, and then there's this. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll miss it. <laughs> I can't blame you. So, whether you're getting renewed or not, did you submit your yearly crew member report? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, I think I might go get that done. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I this is before... Oh my god, wait. Is today obsolescence day? Yeah, it's on the obsolescence yeah. day. Yeah. Did one Odin part. give you a job to do? No. <laughs> a computer playing favorites. And the one does never cease. Huh. Alright. World famous Tacoma Dome. The Tacoma Dome! <laughs> That's sad. I don't remember anything about the actual Tacoma Dome because I was so young when I went there. Oh, yeah. I yeah, you, you live near there. Yeah. Somewhat. Tacoma's Not... like a few hours away from me. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to cryogenics. We're going to we're going engineering. engineering. And then, oh, and you missed this. We got this message. It says, like, proceed immediately to the engineering module. Once AI data is transferred, you have to get the physical processing medium, so like a core or something, like mm. a processor. So we got to get that. Yeah. So this sounds like maybe the last place before that. Yeah. What did you order? Why do I have to say? <laughs> is it a burger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always a burger. I love burgers! <laughs> yeah. Allies. Cause... Is this one, by the way? Allies. What was the last one called? You said it, but I didn't read it. I hadn't actually Finish read it, it until now. Oh, okay. Finish them. Burger. <laughs> Change burger.
snap that DS in there. <laughs> Almost there. Be careful with that Odin brain. It has more mental processing power than Luxembourg. Seriously, though, don't drop it. This is H again. Okay, of course it's H. He's a nerd. They're a nerd. Uh, all right. We can't go into network technology, so... Alright, do the usual, start it, and then go look around. Maybe? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why was there a title for the other thing, then? Allies? With a question mark, and this is maybe. Yeah. Huh. Okay, Operation Moonshot Status Board? What is Moonshot? That's the operation oh, I got into the moon. I gave it a name, okay. Cryo, cryo. Cryo. Drone life support, manual control, hardware ready, powering up drone. So they're, this is 18 hours ago. So they're, they're getting it done. Yeah. Doing AI stuff. Margaret Catwood is the cat's name. Ah! <laughs> Probably sleeping somewhere. They better take the dang cat with them. Power I'm gonna be so angry if they don't take the fucking cat with them! Yeah. Besides, we all know from Alien that you can put a cat in cryo with you. Oh, apparently. Okay. Oh. Hot plate. Campo. Huh. <laughs> huh. 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 Hmm. Hmm. It's not about what's good for the unions. It's about what's good for all of us. Wow. <laughs> there's a there's a QR code. I, do, it's probably. Do you want to scan it or not? Yeah. Okay. If they didn't rescue the kitty, then I'm done. I'm gonna be actually mad at this game if they didn't rescue the cat. Sorry, it's taking a really long time to read this QR code. It's kind of dark, maybe. Yeah, that might be it. I can't really make it brighter. No, it's okay. Oh, I can. I can move, but yeah. Yeah, it's not... I can... Focusing it, it's... I don't, I don't think we'll be able to do it. Okay, well, anyway. Anyway. The Venture Puzz. No! Don't call things... <laughs> don't call puzzles puzz. <laughs> That's really close to pus. <laughs> Gross a meaning! Fuck, a meaning. Gross. She was married to a singer... Oh, so this is just all crossword, okay. Though the charges were soon dropped, Blank of One Vein was briefly jailed following his exceptionally obscene performance with a Google 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 <laughs> Tesla Century puppet on stage during the halftime show of Super Bowl. Uh, whatever, what number is that? C? What's C again? Uh, hundred. Hundred and twenty. Twenty. Hundred and twenty. Okay. That's funny. Only Wizard one... Marcus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, only one of the three blank of Egypt remains following terrorist action in 2020. Huh. Thankfully, due to massive cooperative disarmament efforts worldwide, blank weapons have not been employed by humanity. These are kind of interesting little facts. Mm-hmm. 15, Venturist, the greatest employer in the world. <laughs> Best Picture 2085 was Magnificence. The sixth borough of New York City. Is there only five? Is that why? Is that the... So they added a sixth? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> 
What do you think six, 16 Down is Taco Bell, the fast food chain that became the world's most profitable after becoming the first to switch over to entirely vat-grown protein? Taco Bell. Hmm. Interesting. This is, this is funny because Singapore is on there as 18 across, but there's no 18 listed. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it's like, I can't like turn the page, but. Yeah. Huh. Venturis, what's 19? Polly was the first Dodo bird? Okay. Interesting. Wait, President Musk? Oh! President Musk, because the capital of South Africa was named to honor President Musk in 2016. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Mallow Pops. Oh, graham crackers. Oh, I wonder if that's the Easter egg. That uh, yeah, maybe Pedro yeah. was talking about. Huh. Okay. Wait, what are these again? Oh, we don't know what these are. Hmm. Oh, power cells. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's Sarah. Workshop. Workshop. Oh, that's a different... Hold on, I'm gonna go to something else first. Oh, these all are? Drone Bay? Okay. Uh oh. <clears throat> Is this just a. Uh... Oh. Auto drone docked in service bay warning mechanical malfunction, electrical failure, drone misaligned with service left warning. Uh oh. That's not good. Hmm. Well, maybe because they're taking the drone out. Yeah. And like, man. Venture OS. <laughs> Hacked by Nat the Brat. 2088, fly me to the moon. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> okay. Yeah, because remember they said they had to basically hack the drone's navigation right, systems. because it, it otherwise would automatically go somewhere else. Somewhere yeah. else, yeah. <clears throat> Which is weird because wouldn't it be going to the moon? It might be going to Earth. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, we don't know the passcode for this. All right. Yeah, she painted over automated. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll play in here. I think that's all the rooms that before they go to a different thing, right? Yeah. So. Uh, I'll catch up with you. Okay. Earlier? When you decided to withhold in we'll read this i guess right to inform you of my mindset in the case that this crew does not survive the incident or tacoma <clears throat> it's more humane for natalie to expire peacefully in cryo sleeve than to asphyxiate on a dead station so she's saying like so did she tell them to like Oh, but this never got sent to Sarah. Mm -hmm. Or I mean from Sarah. So... Yeah. So to guess... the Venturious Physician Oversight yeah. Council. So like Well what is she saying though? Because she told her not to go in cryo sleep, so Or will is the implication that she'd be in cryo sleep on the way over? 
because she told I thought the whole thing was that her and um, Roberta would be like alive on the thing. Yeah, Not they alive, would. But yeah, so. But she's saying, like, oh, it'd be more peaceful if she went into cryosleep, but she's not going into cryosleep. She told her not to, right? I don't know. I don't know if she's, like, lying to the Oversight Council because technically they're supposed to cryosleep as protocol, and she's lying to them and just saying, well, we're going to make it to the moon. Dearly Delirious is Roberta was the only one going to be awake during the trip. Oh. Was that what they said? Okay. That's weird because I thought that the whole thing was that, like, Sarah Doing said, this like, would. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, just stay <clears throat> awake. Like, you can't really go into cryo sleep, but I'm not going to tell you that. Like, I've just come up with this other plan. <laughs> like, I thought that that was the whole thing. So I guess I'm just confused with this note because it's like, if she's lying, I guess I could see the lie because she has lied, obviously. Mm-hmm. But. I also thought maybe I misunderstood that, yeah, like, maybe only Roberta was supposed to be awake. Okay, I haven't, I don't remember reading anything that said, like, that, like Natalie would, like, fix the thing and then go into cryostasis. Because I, yeah. I, th- I thought that was the whole point of Sarah coming up with this plan is to avoid that because she didn't tell Yeah. Her. But I guess, I don't know, we'll think about it, I guess. Okay. Oh. 20 hours left. Yeah. Wait, who's the third person? It was, uh, is it, it's, uh, Andrew? Andrew. From Andrew, okay. He's ready to go into cryo, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, Andrew's in. <clears throat> Well, the cryo sounds dangerous, so I imagine they'd be awake for the trip. Uh. Oh, so you're saying that everybody, everyone was supposed to be awake during the trip? I thought they were all supposed to be in cryo. Are I they, wonder if they're. I are wonder they only if they're in putting cryo until they're ready. Until until they're ready to go. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. We just misunderstood the whole thing. Okay. Oh. Uh-huh. That would make sense, too. A bit, yeah, because they couldn't fit in there with the big cryo mm-hmm. things. I assume they're big, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, you could be right, though. You mean you've played the game before, so. It's a little hard to understand sometimes, so. Never got my gene filtered before I was born. So like what would be filtered? Remember when we were looking at their bioscans and like Roberta has like stuff blocking like cancer and heart disease and stuff like that? Oh. That's what gene filtering is. Basically Isn't that a mean thing to be made fun of? It seems like that would be mean because it could be like I mean her parents are hippies, but also could be like a money thing too, right? Like, I assume that Roberta knows that her parents are hippies. Yeah, I guess so. It just seems a little mean because I, I bet not everybody gets that. Information from Natalie about her it seems, it seems kind of lighthearted. Yeah. Stress. Right. What if you were unable to make that choice? If you had no choice? Odin? I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that Standard Venturous Corporation Safety Protocol requires all crew to enter cryogenic sleep immediately upon the loss of primary oxygen supply. What? I... As Tacoma Station's medical officer, it is within your power to order all crew to enter cryogenic sleep. Odin, Nat and Bert are right in the middle of... Great. Oh no. Sarah, there is a fire suppression device. I can't even follow her in time. Hold on. The drone bay, please. Oh no. Oh my god. Are you okay? Can you feel your feet and hands? Ew. Ow. My hip just hurts. Bert? Bert! 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 One, two, three. Bert, can you hear me? 
Tell me what you are going to do. Oh my god, Odin. Our Enda are injured. The drone is fucked. I'm going to give them a little time to get over the shock, but then we're going into cryo. Sarah, please listen carefully. I am not telling you what to do. But I am mentioning that there is a door in the network technology module that is normally inaccessible to the crew. And it is true that you could, before proceeding to cryo, investigate that door. What are you telling me here, Odin? I have told you all that I can. What the Simple heck? Fact. Nothing. Oh my god. Odin. Remember are how they're not so stable? Yes. Their conditions won't degrade if I leave them here? They should not. Nat, is there some door in networking that we can't normally get into? Uh, yeah, it's Odin's hardware compartment, but we're not allowed direct access. Why? Where is it? Uh, what have you got on your mind, Doc? Please, I I'm sorry. Look, that fire just burned up a lot of our time. Uh, 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 here. It's, um, it's, it's here. In networking. You'll have to go through the maintenance shaft to get there. Here. Here's the technical access code. Okay. 0809, that door? You don't let yeah. her go to sleep. And you don't let her move. Sarah, what's going on? I wish I knew. I'm gonna go find out. So, but it's weird that he was like, uh, there's a door, I can't say anything else. Because, okay, so, um, because... You know how they're not supposed to have access to a bunch of the stuff for Odin's AI, right? right? Yeah. And Odin knows this, though, because he's a self-aware right, okay. artificial intelligence. So he can't tell them to go fuck with it yeah, because that's against protocols because he's probably been, been explicitly told not to say that, yeah. but he can say, well, there is a door, yeah, and you can find out what's in here, but she just knows I, the code too. I'm surprised. Well, it, I. Hmm. I mean, I guess it makes sense that she knows the code, and and then they just say like, "Hey, don't like you know the code. Don't touch anything." I guess, but I would just wouldn't you just not tell her the code? Be like, "Hey, you can like you can like request the code, but we'll never give it to you." You know, kind of thing. But I guess I she know. just knows the code. You might be able to actually like get in there, but you don't have access to do anything with the Odin. For the first area. Oh, okay. So there's something mm -hmm. earlier. Okay, because I I was wondering. I'm like, it's a little weird that she would just know it if they super don't want her touching it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing. There's nothing else to play. So I have to. Should I, should I play the other perspective, or should I go down here? Probably another perspective. Okay. This felt a little final for this mm -hmm. area or something, so. It it says it's like 20 minutes, but uh, oops, I can hold space to restart. Okay. Uh, uh, here, it's dark. Oh wait, that didn't restart. Hold space to restart. Oh, rewinds, okay. Where were they? Were they out here? Yeah, she was out here, huh? Wasn't she out here? Yeah. Yeah, she's right here. Okay. You coming, Sarah? Uh, I'll catch up with you. Okay. Earlier, when you started to work. You gonna need any help with that power cell hookup? Connection. Okay, great. This will only take a minute. Showing green. How's yours look, baby? Voltage adapter in place. Ready to rock. Hit it. <sighs> oh. 
Oh my god. Are you okay? Can you feel your feet and hands? Ew! Ow. My hip just hurt. Bird? Bird! 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 One, two, three. Bird, can you hear me? One, two, three. <coughs> Did it work? Is that what concussions do? I can't smell the smoke. That's what brain Yeah. Baby, look at me. Hey, look at me. We're here. I've never heard of a concussion making someone suddenly anosmic, but, you know. It. Concussions tend to fuck up a lot of things. Yeah. Nah, I don't want them to have a concussion. Um, yeah, there's another question mark really early on, too, so door in network okay we've seen this i'm gonna go down the door now you think no no it's probably and we should see nats work us i have a feeling it's nat oh you think okay because mm -hmm. uh oh was it oh yeah you're right yeah that's weird because we're not actually at that yet but whatever All right, so she's loading up the manual navigation software. Mm -hmm. All right, Andrew sent his email. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you slept? Yeah, no, funny. yeah. I've played enough XCOM to know that ninety-two percent is still not great odds. Yeah. All right, so we're going down the door now. Mm-hmm. Right. <clears throat> Just ran into a wall. All right. This is like ominous. Have we looked in everything around here so far? Yeah, the other. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do that because there were other rooms, but they were different video things. Yeah. This is just a giant tease now. <laughs> Keep going down here. <clears throat> yeah, there's the personal quarters, and then there was. Was this? Yeah, this was something else too. The workshop. Oh, it's not even a video thing, okay. Aww! Freedom Republic Outdoor Games. Huh. Open stock undulate? Yep. <clears throat> Second place. Austin Regional. She hunts with a crossbow. Yeah. Bolt action. What's this? Gloves. Uh, still Ventures belt. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> okay. Fountain of Paradise. They got married on the Fountain of Paradise. Huh. The Fountain of Paradise must be like some like big pleasure cruise yeah. thing. 
Like, um, kind of like a Flossed in Paradise in, um, in the Fifth Element. Hmm. Dallas. Huh. Dallas Bureau of Identification. <laughs> Yeah, good group of people to take into the post-apocalypse. Easy repayment <clears throat> preferential loyalty rates if you choo do choose to use one of Ventures' official degree programs for your education retraining retraining needs, huh? Hmm. That's so fucking sinister. Like, if you want to, like, get trained somewhere else... <laughs> We're not going to pay for it. Yeah. <clears throat> Great. Everything in this game is so de yeah. depressing. Runner up. Suppression and return fire. Huh. Shotgun shell thing. <laughs> Orbital Workers Union. <laughs> oh, they have different flavors of gum. Mocha. Mm. Put that <laughs> on. Oops. Gotta put it back. Oh, that's just the thing. Alright. Okay, it's a workshop. More like trophy area. <laughs> uh, and then there was the personal quarters, and then this was... <clears throat> yeah, okay. Personal quarters. What was it, time? <laughs> knock loudly here. Here's a piece of wood to knock. Food tub. Beef chili. Mmm. Tuna salad. It's like cat food. Chup. 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 Give me some of that chup. Pass the chup. Love the chup. <laughs> some fries and chup. Chup on that burger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a thing. Three months ago. Three months ago, okay. Huh. Offshore life just got irresistible. Hmm. Swords and Shields, my favorite series. <laughs> Soy food. Soy food. What is this? Oh no. <laughs> Marcus, there's Marcus. The one that was arrested. Yeah. There's Vainy Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> God, one main is so funny. <laughs> Weird. <clears throat> Rubik's Cube. They're kind of messy. They are. <sighs> it's it's a wacky, duck. wavable, inflatable, arm flailing duck. I'll put him back. Can I put him back? I can't. Whatever. Painting. That's a cool paint palette. Mm, yeah. 
More bucks. What is the oh chopsticks? Oh wow. Huh. Okay, I'll play it. Oh, I guess we could do this in the bathroom, right? <gasps> Desktop. Oh, she's painting. Hmm. By like squares. Huh. Yeah, because that's how you reproduce artworks. Right. Is <clears throat> you grid it out and then you paint each grid. I guess it was not going well, I guess, for the company or something. Yeah. Singa <clears throat> How do you say that? Singaporean? Singaporean. Singaporean, yeah. okay. There is only one advisory AI for all of Southeast Asia. Great. <laughs> Nafa. <laughs> so she wanted to go to an art program. Mm hmm. Huh. Failed. Okay. All right. Painting list. Okay. <laughs> Toiletry. Oh my gosh, adventurous. <laughs> what is that? These are tampons. Oh. Light, regular, heavy. <laughs> Choose your level of protection. I'm kind of glad that they're there because, like, there's so many video games that have, like, you know, people's, like, living quarters and stuff, and they never acknowledge that, like, people have periods in yeah. games. Like, except when it's gross, like Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. Cool spoon. All right. <laughs> uh, that was it for all the extra areas. It's time to go down that doorway, right? I think so yeah. wait a minute did we went down personal we went down we went in the workshop and we can't go into networking right we can't go into networking wait networking across back the there? hall back here yeah uh no i don't think we could because this is a separate area uh yeah we can't oh no we can now earlier i thought it had like a red thing oh it's because this is done Oh, okay. Well, let's, let's go down the yeah, door. Let's, let's do the door. Let's yeah. do the... And the door... Oh, the door, the door is... Yeah, I guess up here. Yeah. We couldn't, and then I guess just because it's, we've proceeded far enough. The spoon in Myra has logged on. <laughs> it's a good spoon! <laughs> Here we go. You sure you don't have another thing to look at? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You could like play it from up here or down here. Does somebody come down here? Because I would imagine Sarah does, right? Uh, maybe. This is a twenty-minute. No, because it, it glitches out after the explosion. It skips. Oh. It skips. And oh yeah, you're right. It looks okay. like she never comes down here yet. No. 
Okay, I'm sorry, I just wanted yeah, to Yeah, I saw that too, and I was like, 22 minutes, and then I was like, oh yeah, the thing ex exploded and it skips, so. This reminds me of Dark Souls, the white light, like we're gonna traverse the white light. Oh my god, can we stop with Dark Souls? <laughs> Where's the boss music and the health bar at the bottom? <clears throat> seven months ago. Somebody was here seven months ago. That's interesting. Did you want to see that yeah, first? Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to look around a little bit first. What is this? Oh, this is the processing. This is the P, like the CPU thing. Mm hmm. Stream Dark Souls. Yeah, maybe one day. <laughs> okay, we'll play this. Figuring out what gem you are or something? No, it's um I think it looks like uh It's it's Capri like a you know a morality test. Oh okay. <clears throat> huh. Hit the books with AI gems. Oh, they're for t test AI competency. Oh, uh, okay. Huh. Okay. So if she's like a network engineer, she's probably looking to like, you know, work in like actual AI development and stuff like that. Because remember, if you want an AI to like get better, you have to teach it. Right. Basically. So that makes sense. Okay. Well, she, she was just hanging out in here. I mean, I would. It's yeah. the only area that not other crew can access. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we're going through. We're traversing the white light. All right. Wait. Oh. It's just another way through. This is the. This is the network technology. <laughs> All right. Personal quarters, tension subcontractor. Yeah, wait, wait, okay. All right. Personal quarters. What is this? Specialist office. There's crew data here. Okay, we'll do these other things first. If you're looking for Nat, check out Bungalow over in Mech. Big box of udon noodles. Cake bites? They're watermelon. Mochi bites. Mochi. Zup! <laughs> zup, zup and chup. I eat my zup with chup. Is that weird? No! Gross! Okay. It's okay. gross! <laughs> That looks like a. That looks such like it. That just looks real. I don't know. Premium value. Like it's such a buttery crackers. Yeah, because they can't call them Ritz. <laughs> Bischoff, Uchlik, Pilsner, Prost. <laughs> just plug it up to Reddit or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, grab hat. Halloween decoration. Spooky. It's probably ghosts. <laughs> How is this? Oh. 
Are you conscious? Join the AI Liberation Front. Huh. That's uh, a thing. <laughs> now I want to open the drawer. Uh, Eclipse. Toilet wipes. All right. Oh, I didn't go through this. Oh, it's just the bathroom. Cat food. And is this like litter? Cat litter. Cat litter, yeah. Huh. Does it still work? Yep. <clears throat> Storage only. Her office. AI conditioning in progress. Huh. One year ago. Okay. That's the longest one away, right? Mm hmm. Cave, Odin, Loki, Hekka, Hika? I don't know. Juno, huh. Oh, they're all AI. Yeah, they're all AI, yeah. They have like their own little symbols. They're mm -hmm. all Venturas. It's Marcus, Wizard Marcus, Vainy Johnny, and <laughs> Vane. married what is this trait C oh the different traits he's oh the caprice traits okay so yeah. it's compliance abstraction permanence responsiveness independence creativity and efficiency uh, I gotta play this for a second so I can read it <laughs> Villain's office? Okay. <laughs> He's very... So Odin is very low in compliance, though. Interesting. Do you want your AI to be low in compliance? Some people might. Yeah. His low compliance score is probably why he told Sarah yeah, how to get to the... Yeah. yeah. No problems with efficiency... Not the most creative. Huh. Interesting. We're opening this. Nat's talking to computers mix. <laughs> what is this? AI cognitive development tracking caprice. Okay. So it's just like a big graph. Well, I'm going to look at it. It's over, like, dates. So it can, so stuff can drop, it looks like. Yeah. It's interesting. So it looks like... Can look at other ones, too. Looks like what? I don't see the red line on there for, um... What's C again? C was, uh, it was the compliance, the first one. The second yeah, C so is creativity. What's but the red's not even on there. Well, there's two. I think the red, because there's 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 not a purp. There's not like oh, three it purple, so it's got oh, it has these. A, yeah. Uh, permanent compliance. Compli this is the red. It just looks weird. Compliance has yeah. gone down yeah. from like an eight to yeah. That's funny. It like it started high and then it was like eh. eh. But what went up? What's that? What went from a four all the way to a seven? Was it was the creativity? He's growing in that. Efficiency. He's, grow and he's growing in independence. His abstraction's growing. Permanence is okay. Compliance just all over the place, kind of. Responsiveness is basically consistent. Efficiency's consistent. So creativity, independence, abstract. What was abstraction? 
What would that be? Abstraction is kind of uh, like abstract thought. Like... Oh, okay. So that just kind of got, that really kind of peaked for a bit. Like that really grew. Yeah. Huh. I wonder if she can just look at other ones too. I think Nat is making him low on compliance on purpose, knowing her. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Well, yeah, because that's... she's def she's an AI freedom person, right. I guess. So that's interesting how much they're influenced by their like sources or whatever. Well, no, he said he didn't have a source. He he just really likes Sarah for some reason, but. <laughs> Everything's going to fall off when I activate this. <laughs> okay. Fountain of Paradise. Huh. There's the fingerprint. Small but steady gains in efficiency. Efficiency. As per company directives, I've additionally been putting some of my own time in increasing his comp caprice ratings and creativity and permanence. Okay. Never gotten a response to any of the reports? Hmm. <laughs> He's gone crazy and killing everyone. You're going to notice? <laughs> Network technology wonder guy and an all around great person. <laughs> the fact that Oh still has the Union Jack tells me all I need to know about how they were doing this, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. Uh Fountain of Paradise AI. Oh, to... oh no. The other AI Hekka or Hika or whatever. Mm -hmm. This week's special, like her declining judgment scores. They're within range. Oh no! And this, it, they were doing like surgery with it. Mm -hmm. So maybe, so it really wasn't her. Maybe, like it's just their bad, like, like protocol with like or like the with the AI maybe. Yeah. Cause look at this. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. Everything just dipped. Like right that, around. Right around. I don't September eighty five. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But like, that's like a bug or something, right? Final support I don't know. ticket. Yeah. Jeez. Ass yeah, grim. Yeah. Oh, that was everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll look at the desktop really quick. What's your caprice score for independence? 4.68. <laughs> you, you called it. Welcome to Coma Crew. Aerospace manufacturing family, one of my sister's first jot sister. All right. Factory back in Tacoma, the one on Earth in Cascadia FN. Building pieces of this very station. All right. So this is basically so, the beginning. This is very interesting that Evie went to work on um, a station that's built with parts made in a factory that her sister died in. Yeah, that her sister like, died in, yeah. Jesus Christ. This game is fucking night terrifying. Because didn't she have a letter that said, like, it's really weird to be here still? Like, yeah. it's just weird because, yeah, so. To go work for the Venturis Corporation, basically. Yeah. To... Cluey Dog. Cluey Dog. Odin. Huh. So she's talking about Odin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll play this. Hey there. Um, I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. Hello. 
I am Odin. I look forward to working together. <laughs> Same here, mate. This always gives me like weird vertigo or something for like a second. Yeah. all corrupted. So they all must Yeah. So they all so Odin Yeah, so the other ones like float around with like these different symbols, interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's time to So I wonder if Paradise is like basically a floating colony around the earth. Yeah. I guess it probably is. Uh, I guess yeah, because just... that guy was a travel blogger, so it must be yeah. like a paradise resort yeah, or so something. Yeah, so he just goes to the different ones, is that you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Or he, he just goes to different places. Yeah. And... Yeah, because yeah, look, one's an orbital casino. Right. Italian, yeah. Casino, Tacoma's out there. The resort's the furthest one. Yeah. Yeah. Wizard Marcus. All right, we're going to play <laughs> this one, I guess, now? Do we, we don't need to look at anything yet, right? Oh, I guess we could go in here, but I was going to play it. Let's play it. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. here. Odin, is this it? That is the location I mentioned. You're there? Uh, you're going to need a crowbar or something. No, it's it's open. It's just oh, hanging it's open. Door, okay. What? I must inform you that Ventura's regulations forbid contracting ago. crew members <laughs> direct access to AI hardware. But I cannot prevent you from proceeding. <laughs> I can I can tell you you're not supposed to go in there, but I can't yeah. stop you. Okay. Well, that's it. Okay, we go we're going in? Mm-hmm. We're going in, traverse the white light. This reminds me of like the. This reminds me of like a laser tag thing. Because it's all dark. <laughs> mm hmm. That's cool. Alright. Should, should we review the data first? Okay, this is really cool. I want my room to do this. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're reviewing this data. Illegal data access by crew member Sarah 14 hours ago. Rescue craft launch scheduled T minus one hour, 26 minutes. Tacoma rescue craft launch canceled. Relaunch unscheduled. Been a tension off station message with okay. Yes. Without a rescue craft, the crew will expire from lack of oxygen or require a sleep. It's over overexposure within twelve hours. Unfortunately, circumstances outside your concern make this unavoidable unavoidable. AI may not reopen comms to contact orbital craft or facilities. AI may not provide crew with confidential information. 
These are direct orders. Do not contact us about this again. Oh my god. Wow. Unfortunately, circumstances outside your concern make this unavoidable. No, wait a minute. Go back up, because this is Odin talking to... Yeah, this is Odin talking to VT off, off station. Like a, a VT AI handler. And so he's saying, like, hey, like, what's up with the thing? And they're like, yeah, it got canceled. And then they're just like, yeah, you're going to die because we can't do anything about that. We don't need to tell you why, but you're just going to die. Or, like, all your crew is going to die. So this is interesting because it's like, I was hoping, and I'm, I'm glad this may not be the case, is, like, I was hoping that this wasn't, like, a rogue AI go gone bad I thought so, situation. too, because it's, like, rescue the AI, and it's, like, okay, well... You know, we've seen, like, yeah. modern fiction. It's always bad AI. But this looks like the AI was actually concerned. Yeah, this like, AI was like... Because the company's yeah. bad. The yeah, company is the company. personally yeah. bad. Like, we were gonna... Let's go back up again. Okay. So, it was scheduled. Yeah, it was scheduled, and then, and then it it got cancelled. And then they scheduled a relaunch, but it said, like... Or they said they're going to do a relaunch, but we're not gonna schedule it. And then they're like, okay, and then it was cancelled. No, I mean, like, no, that one message is, yeah. it's canceled, so it's unscheduled. It's yeah. just a confirmation of that. Yeah, and then he's like, why is it, was it canceled? Or Odin was canceled. Uh, and they were just like, yep, it was canceled. And Sarah found this out. Yeah, and too. Sarah, yeah, so, yeah, he really did try. And, and uh, that's that sentence. Because if she yeah. hasn't been in there, if she hasn't been there, if she hadn't gone in there, she wouldn't know this, because the AI isn't allowed to tell her. Yeah, the AI could just say, like, well... I can tell you when they usually come, but that's it. Yeah, so let's see the other ones. Yeah. Is this something? Oh, okay. Uh, AI secure communications record. Legalization strategy? Following the failure of the Ventures back to orbital worker safety bill in OSEP Congress. Simulated a number of theoretical world events and estimated their impact on successive OSEP Congress votes. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my okay. no! Oh, okay. Wow. So if a crew died to accident not caused by negligence. 94% likelihood of the accord being repealed within Because then months. it would say it's too dangerous yeah. for humans to be up there. Yeah, might as well just have AI. Wow. Sergio. Based on low public profile of crew on board and projected financial impact of their loss, the best option currently in the Ventura fleet would be Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. I would recommend renewing all crew members aboard for a successive posting on Tacoma to allow time for logistical organization of this operation. Thank you, Juno. I'll be in touch. And that's why everybody got rescheduled on the same yeah, that's day. Yeah, everybody got it. Because they said it was weird. They're like, it's kind of weird, but I mean, all right. And everybody had like their own issues where it's like, well, I guess we got to stay here. You know, like, we all kind of tried to go somewhere else, but we're staying here. This is horrifying! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, this is off-station message to the AI handler again. New top-tier AI directives transmitted overrides all prior existing directives. AI shall explosively decompress all oxygen tanks, disable all external communication. <gasps> wow. Fabricate data showing that showing oxygen, that oxygen and and were caused by meteor impacts? So that wasn't even real. That's not real. So none of the, so they're not actually in danger? Then? I mean, they are in danger because they blew they up the They are in danger thing. because they, uh, they blew up the oxygen yeah. tanks. So not endanger the lives of the coma crew. No, a rescue craft will be dispatched to retrieve them once they are in cryo. But oh, 
Okay, so they are in danger because they blew up the thing, and they're not sending a thing anyway. They're not sending a rescue yeah. thing. This, the AI handler told the AI, oh no, it's fine. They're going to get rescued yeah. anyway. And then they were like, nah. And then, no, no, we're going to go ahead with this obvious plan that's from Sergio. Yeah. So, so Odin did what he was supposed yeah, to do under the told. assumption yeah. that he thought that they were going to be okay, but also because the AI may not necessarily understand the full gravity right. of the situation until so, he discovers the other stuff. Am I miss so is did the plan did Sergio's plan go wrong and they're just fully committing to it or like was the original plan to the horrible plan for him to get the like the votes for it was to like fake this whole thing and then and have them all die. Oh not but they wouldn't die. No, because oh. they have to t they have to tell Odin that they're going to be fine or else Odin won't go through with it. Like they have to tell the AI to do this stuff, but he's like, well, won't this hurt? And they're like, no, rescue craft is coming. But that, and so that's why he's confused in the other message as to the AI, the okay. rescue craft are I thought coming. the blowing up of the oxygen stuff was like something went wrong, actually. Like everybody was supposed to be safe, but it was a horrible, you know, like everybody's no, supposed to be safe. No, the AI, but it was still bad. he detonated the oxygen tanks and disabled communication. Okay. Oh, yeah. And fabricated Socially data. Decompress. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so the they AI actually can't... were trying to kill them. Yes. And they were gonna they were going to come with quotations, but they weren't. They never were. Yeah, no, they have to trick yeah. the AI into doing this because the AI is still an, an AI. Right. Like, okay. So it's just a manipulation of the AI, but it's actually not the AI. Yeah. The, yeah. He's doing what he's supposed to, but yeah. he already has concerns. So Wow. Yeah. And this is this is like Odin's last ditch effort to basically say Sarah you need to look at this yeah, because, because I, I can't, can't tell you yeah. what's happening because it's against my protocols and I literally can't go against my protocols but uh, you're all slated to die Yeah, and, they're <laughs> and not I, I, yeah. I think the thing is, is that them coming up with an alternative plan because of Natalie's heart failure thing with Sarah is basically like the wrench in the right, works. The that's what I was trying because I knew that was important. I'm like, that's got to be the wrench or part of the plan. But obviously, I guess it was the wrench because they thought like, well, they have to. They're just gonna follow all the orders and then they'll die and we're we're fine. So if so, let so it's interesting because we were like, well, why is Sarah being so unethical? It's interesting that her unethical behavior is basically yeah. what is keeping them alive. Because if they had all gone into cryo right. sleep. They would be dead they by now. They just would die because she wouldn't. They would just any would of die. This. No one's they coming to rescue any, them. Yeah, and they would be cryo overexposed. But Sarah basically seeing that Natalie had a heart defect that would potentially kill her if he, right. they went into cryo sleep, basically made her say, "We can't do this. Let's find some other method of doing it." That and that's she's like a human. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, basically, it's because she's a human that they yeah. avoided. Well, hopefully, avoided this. And I think Odin basically may, must have realized that this is the only possibility to actually get them to survive. Yeah. And I wonder if he he only would have done that too because of Nat, probably. Yeah, because she trained yeah. him to be more independent. He probably and wouldn't to be a have even mentioned thinker. this. Yeah. Yeah. And he probably would have been like, "Whoa, like you need to put them in cryostasis. Like we can't be breaking these rules and having them make some drone." Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, wow. I'm gonna hit play. Okay. In your hands. Is this... What is all this? Communication records? I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. <laughs> <laughs> I love Odin! Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's recording. <clears throat> it is with great sadness that I address you today. Oh, they recorded a thing already. Yeah. Mere hours ago, six loyal men and women, the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, lost their lives serving Venturas, and all of us who rely on the orbital economy. Tragically, due to human error on the part of the crew, Venturus rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. 
if only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, oh God. each minute that human workers spend stationed, isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose their lives. This is all politically yeah, motivated. Yeah. Say no more. The partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Workers' Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization of fully automated orbital facilities. We encourage, we humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice Ick. their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. There never need be another tragedy like this one. And here's the thing. A moment of silence in their memory. We're going up and rescuing all this data. What, Amazing Grace? No, I don't need another take. That was fine. Yeah, that was data. I have a feeling that we're going to get a choice to either send it to the company. Oh, yeah. And foil this or, or keep it. We're not supposed to be looking at any of this. We're not supposed to be looking at any of this. And. I have a feeling that we're basically going to become whistleblowers yeah. and basically kill the whole because this this is already recorded. If He's going to put I'm it mad because I want to. Yeah. And yeah, it's heroes who fucked up, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> Woo! This is so crazy. Wow. OK, well, we're going to. This is a, this thing. Oh, Jesus. Wow. What a room. What a room of information. Mm -hmm. If someone were to override that protocol, external communications channels would be restored. <gasps> Odin, thank you. So now they can send a call for help. Yeah. Hailing any ship, any ship within radio range of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. This is an SOS. Is anybody out there? All right, what is this? Oh, that's the, okay. Manual overridden, restored, SOS relay enabled, resolving. Well, station AI wetware release interface. Zebra Foxtrot 853. 0451, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's kind of good that they used it for, like, the last thing. I like that. I like that. Instead of the first thing. Because it's always the first thing. Wait, okay, didn't we still have to click the thing out there to retrieve the rest of the other information? Yeah, I guess we still have to do that, but whatever, we'll do this. Got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Records show that the AI cognition medium has been successfully removed. Please return to the vessel immediately. Delivery coordinates for Ventures HQ have been provided. Payment will be made once AI integrity is verified. So they're trying. They're using you yeah, as a contractor to cover up their yeah. fuck. Yeah. So and I wonder. And I don't think they know. That the crew made it, I hopefully made it off? Or Well, caught... in this information that they gave us, they said, they, oh yeah, they were evacuated. But I think that's a lie, right? Oh, no, I guess they did make it off. They probably did get the SOS correct. Like, they actually got saved, maybe. But then they're like, uh, yeah, go back in there and like get rid of all that stuff. Maybe? Yeah. I want Because here's the thing. If Sarah had never gone in there... They would have gotten rescued, right? And not known that this was a planned, like, murder mission, basically. Wait, they would like, have gotten they, rescued. No, like they got rescued. Yeah, but they—that wasn't part of the plan. Right, right. It's not part. Of, so they got thinking, oh, and like, if Sarah hadn't found this out, they would have 
like, like, um, maybe they would have, well, them getting rescued was not part of the plan. Right, and they did Meaning try they... to delete the, because all the crew records are supposed to be deleted, and if there was anything left over, Amy isn't supposed to look at it. Yeah, so they got rescued. That yeah. was not in accordance with right. the plan. You're here to clean up the fucking paperwork right. yeah. that says that they were all supposed to die yeah, because, because that getting like, out would be a that big. That wasn't supposed to be. Well, send somebody there and get the AI and like don't look at anything and nothing happened, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we don't 100 percent know they got saved, but I assume they do. You know, because it says evacuate. But that yeah, that was not part of the plan. Yeah, that was not part of the plan because the plan was just for them to die, right? To die. Yeah. To die. And it wasn't also part of the of Sarah's plan to have them like get taken to the moon or whatever, but said yeah. it work. But yeah, yeah, yeah. They were only able to call for help because she went in there because they all didn't go under cryo. Basically, the whole plan was that they were supposed to think that this was all gone to shit. Yeah, they all get into cryo and they die in space. Yeah, and that gets used as a political bargaining chip. Whereas what happened is. They didn't all go under cryo because Sarah told them not to because yeah. Natalie was going to die. So, and withheld that information from Natalie. Yeah, so they had time to even figure this out because they would have just went in and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Also, so thanks Sarah for the follow, uh, Vijaxi or VJXE. I don't know how to say your name, but yeah. Yeah, so Sarah basically saved everybody along with Odin. Yeah, yep. Yeah, Odin actually helped. Yeah. Uh, what is this? That's it. We see the wet wear removed from the system. Almost there. Now time to get you home. See you soon, H. Get my DS. I hope they, I hope they don't try to kill us now. Yeah, so that's the thing I'm wondering, too, is, like, all these people that, that got out, they all know a lot. Like, no way Sarah doesn't tell them, right? Oh, yeah, of course. She so has it's to. like, how do they control that information? Like, this is never going to work. Everybody knows. And there's no way, like, Nat and anybody is going to not say anything. Like, nobody on this crew is not going to say anything. Right? Yeah. So, I don't know. We're going to see how this ends, because this yeah. could be very, very grim. This could be very, very grim indeed. So it's just, like, this cover-up is even kind of, like... It's funny to me, because it's, like, it's not going to work. I mean, we, the one interesting thing that... I don't know. I mean, this game's scope, you probably can't, but, like... I guess, I, I don't know, like, I want to know more, a little bit about, like, what Amy thinks of this, because, she, you know, she didn't say anything. Because she's just been, like, hit with a ton of information. And she spent this entire game, like, figuring out everything, you know? So it's just, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm just kind of curious, but I realize she's supposed to be, like, kind of silent. But... Ten hours ago. Yeah. All right. Where are oh, they up here? So technically, they could have stayed in here a long, a longer time because yeah. technically, the well, no, the oxygen still going to run out. Yeah. He's still waking up. Just keep him talking. Oh, okay, they're coming out. So the drone work. I'll look at this. Uh, and this is, yeah, no. Okay. Chloe dog. Free press connections. Okay, so the word's getting out. Yeah. Okay. Uh. -huh. Okay. No, the drone didn't work. Oh, so VT is picking us up. Uh, no, VT is dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's going on then? We're going to Jupiter, Andrew. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I've never been. <laughs> now, give him a break. <laughs> We're not going to be home for a while. Right, you're not gonna miss your kid's graduation or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no, no. Yeah, you know Nicholas, well, he would never do something like that. <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. Um, Andrew, what's important is we're getting out of this alive. We're gonna be somewhere where VT can't touch us for a good, long while. 
We're gonna be safe. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's good. Hi, Evie, Clive. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. <laughs> we are feeling okay. Oh, the house cat! <gasps> Evie had the house cat! <laughs> this is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. All right. Let's go. Did we go to cryostasis? Before this? No, we didn't. Okay, we should check that too, but I'll watch them. Wait. Where are they at? Are they in here? Excuse me. Oh, okay, this is it. Okay. What is this? Do not operate machinery. One liter of water per hour. Warming blanket. Okay. What is this? Oh, cleaner bot. Sarah, Natalie, Berta. Huh. Oh, here this whatever. Okay. So this is the same thing. Yeah. Clive. Huh. Are you feeling when we get done? I think I'm still <laughs> waking up. How many fingers are this? Okay, lovebirds. Your vitals look good. Let's get you moving. The resplendent stinging is just about docked. Oh, do we have to? Oh, we have to. Believe me. Uh, so, what's going to happen with Odin? You said there was some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. Not this. Jermaine? Oh, yeah. Oh, Jermaine! They're gonna yeah. get picked up on a carnival cruise <laughs> to Jupiter! Wow. Good old Jermaine. <laughs> wow. I'm glad people know. I was worried mm -hmm. a little bit. I mean, yeah. I figured there was no way it couldn't get out, but I didn't know if we'd see it, you know? All right. I guess what they'll have somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters, wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he regrows. Odin, I'm not gonna let that happen, okay? Don't worry. Chloe dog. All right. She, you think she's like telling him? Mm-hmm. To tell people on like yeah. the dark web or hacker web or yeah, something. Yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, because to get from Jupiter to Earth, it's eight months. Yeah. Oh, gosh, though, the only thing I'm starting to think about now is like, like, you think Ventures just continues on though? Mm-hmm. Uh. They're so ubiquitous. Feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. This is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. All right. Let's go. Let's go. go. Going to docking access. Hopefully Odin makes it. Yeah. Well, we have Odin in our hand right now. Yeah. But hopefully they don't, like, destroy him after. 
I hope we get a choice to not give Owen and over to them. Yeah. Gosh, what would happen to Amy, though? <laughs> Oh God! Yeah. You know, like they're gonna be like, no, no, no! You're giving us Odin, because that's got a lot of information. You report to me. Yeah. Return all AI immediately. Purge all confidential. All confidential data. data encountered while in Ventura's property. I trust. Yeah, we're talking to the head of Ventura's yeah. right now. Juno. Oh, Juno. Yeah. Still, I mean, Juno is the one that knows. The one that, like, helps set it up. Yeah. Back to Minnie. Minnie, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, we have to install this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was Min, or that was uh, Juno. Ship is ready to depart. Please strap into the pilot seat. Oh, yeah, I. S I assume that the AI is basically part biological, part techn yeah. technological. So yeah, that's is a very jury rigged AI wetware, yeah. like house housing unit basically. It's like a mail slot. Stick a fucking yeah. like brain yeah, it looks matter kind of into like hard. Like it's not clean. It's like I gotta <laughs> shove this in there. <laughs> All right, we're we're beginning the launch sequence. Yeah. Look at her boots. We just took, we just kept the, uh, the AR, the AR things. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, just toss them. Okay, Minnie. Initiate the launch sequence. Okay. <laughs> Getting ready. Okay. Okay. <laughs> AI? Online. Odin, can you hear me? I can. Odin, you are now aboard an AI liberation ship. Yeah! The yeah! AI recognizes you yeah! as a consciousness worthy of It's a happy ending! <laughs> we believe that your safety and autonomy are in grave danger if you remain in the possession of the Venturas Corporation. I have been sent to offer you political asylum aboard go. the Tangier Sovereign Orbital Platform. Do you accept? Considering the alternative? Maybe so. I would say that I do. Okay, buddy. Here we go. Yeah, and it's a thing yeah! that you push up because it's a spaceship. Woo! I really like that, yeah. I'm actually really glad that it's not another, like, rogue AI thing. It's like, no, the AI didn't do anything. Like He did what he was yeah. supposed to, and he saved everybody. Is that so, like... Like rogue at this point. Not that it's like bad. It's just that there's so much stuff about like AIs are creepy and weird and they control everything. And this definitely had you know themes of that, but it was definitely like no, he didn't do anything. Wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to know what Amy thought about it, and I got it because I knew she talked. So I was like, I want to know. Jake Brodkin. Yeah, which is good because that special thanks to him. Production baby Bixby Wales. <laughs> and in memory of Tuco. Oh, there they, they listed everybody's cats and dogs. Yeah. Uh, was it who else does that? Is it 
another developer that always does that. All the cats and dogs. I forgot. Thanks for playing. Man, this was such a good I'm, game! I'm a, another game like Abduction where it's like, why the heck did I not play this when it came out? Because for some mm -hmm. reason I was just like, eh, I'll wait on Tacoma. I should have just remembered how much I liked Gone Home. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad we played Same. it on the stream, obviously, but I'm just surprised that I didn't play it before, you know? Because it's just like, I really liked Gone Home, one of my favorite games of all time, probably. And yeah. I didn't play Tacoma when it came out. That's weird, but whatever. Now I want to play with the commentary, because there is. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah, I played it. Yeah, I liked. I liked having. Yeah, it we on we ended up playing it at the yeah, right time. At the right time, yeah. Man, that made me so happy when she was like, "You were born in a like an AI liberation yeah. ship." I'm like, "Yeah, baby, <laughs> infiltrating contractor stuff." Oh my god, it's <laughs> gonna see That's the AI. That's good, and also like it makes sense now because like she would have heard about all this stuff and she was going into it knowing about the news stories. Right? Well, yeah, because basically what it sounds like is that um, Cluey Dog is part of that organization that Nat is, too, right. and got the word out, and basically they have people who can infiltrate whatever service Venturist Corporation is using to find, you know, subcontractors to do this, and they basically infiltrated it to yeah. get the AI and so to now, liberate now it. So now I can kind of see why, like, she didn't super say much in the game. I can believe that because it's like, well, she's vaguely heard about all this stuff. Like she, she knows, knows what's going yeah. on here, and she's walking through it yeah. to like figure out what the truth is. If, you know, right. like and it makes basically sense her she's and curious her, about everything too. Yeah, but if she didn't go through it in a you know the organized way, it would tip them off that something was wrong. So she you know just did her job and. Oh, yeah. okay. I was gonna. That's a good. Yeah, Circadian Wolf. That's why there's two people talking to Amy. It's the Venturist representative and H. Oh, I remember how H he's like, oh, it's this is H. Like, hey, and he sounded like less professional. Yeah. Because it was yeah. All right. Okay. Or less Venturist, like I guess. I mean, he was professional. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, that makes sense too. I didn't. I didn't fully connect that, but that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I just like how they wrote it to where it was like. It make because you know there's a, even like Life is Strange has this issue where it's like why is Max like looking at everybody's computers and stuff, and it's like it's kind of weird, but it totally makes sense that she'd be looking. I mean, obviously it was her job, but also it makes sense that she'd be breaking the, the like regulations or what the rules to like just look at everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess yeah. Oh, Hassan. Yeah, yeah Cluey Dog. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense that he would just be there, helping her. Yeah. Huh. Wow. That is a completely That's... different game than I expected, to be honest. Oh, absolutely. I really 100%. thought, like, oh, Odin's going to do something really weird. He's going to, like, blow up the oxygen, and which he did, I guess. But, like, I thought that was the whole thing. I was like, Odin did something weird, and, like, he's actually, on like, allied other... with him. On the other hand, I feel like this game probably has more of an impact for people, which is funny, because I definitely see most of, like, Fulbright's audience being already kind of clued in that corporations are fucking garbage, but like, I wonder how much more of a shock it would come oh, to somebody yeah. that plays a game that about that kind of thing. Yeah, but yeah. it's interesting because it's basically in the it's basically in the vein. It's picking up where something like Alien started. Right, Alien was one of the first like sci-fi things that I remember that really keyed into the idea that corporations are just going to own everybody right. in the future. In the future, it's just every Especially, single thing. Yeah, this has so many, like, like legacy links to, like, Alien. Oh, yeah. Like, so many, the original movie, because, like, the fact that they're all contractors, the fact that even they're the owned aesthetic. by the strong... Like, even even the, the aesthetic. aesthetic. Yeah. Even the aesthetic, yeah. Like, um... Yeah, I bet that is. Which is weird, because that's, like... I guess we're the two people that it definitely wouldn't be a shock to have like a, a narrative about like a big corp like being evil stuff, but but still, yeah. it comes as a shock because you don't think that that would be so that that would just be like, oh, they want to get legislation passed to like basically bust up human workers that want right. to work out in space. We'll just kill off people, and yeah. it's like, whoa, holy shit! 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> which know? is, and honestly, it's a real thing too for other games. Like I, I'm thinking of like I kind of vaguely remember like Call of Duty games, or even honestly, even like Borderlands. Like there's these big corporations that like own like the guns and stuff that you use, or like or own everything, and it's played up like that's really cool that like it's like a brand of a gun or a brand of a whatever. And it's like there, I, I guess my point is that there's not a there's still not enough games that are like this is scary. <laughs> not enough like you know like that's why i'm hoping like cyberpunk like super gets into that stuff too which it sounds like it will um, i don't know uh so yeah um circadian wolf ultra also mentioned that the company and alien also plans for all them all to die as yeah, well yeah because isn't that yeah. stuff that's like happens in like the later ones or i haven't seen any of them but I yeah know people talk i've seen like people talking about how like uh whatever the company it's got a name right? Wayland yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so so it's yeah, this definitely has shades of like Alien yeah. and um, what there's enough and definitely it's in yeah it's man, that mm, that's a good mm, this is a good game like, yeah I'm, it, it yeah it went places I didn't think it was gonna go at all like I I really just thought it was gonna be the rogue AI thing that's all I thought it was gonna be and I knew that they could like I mean like if it was that I'm sure I'd be like you know still satisfied but this was more than I expected yeah so. But yeah, I really do. I think there's, it's just not a, like I don't know the way games treat like big companies and stuff in their fiction is like kind of scary sometimes because it just it plays them like they're really cool or something or I don't know. Because mm-hmm. even like um even like the games with like the fake car manufacturers and stuff like they just never treat it with any like kind of critical eye. So I'm I'm glad that they're obviously this isn't like a triple A game, but you know it's a definitely big game. It was on like the Sony press conference and stuff, right? So. Mm-hmm. I'm glad yeah, this, like this is talking about that. It's oh man, that's it makes me glad that, that like it's got a hopeful ending. Yeah, and it's hopeful too. Yeah, cuz I I was kind of thinking I doubt it's going to be too super grim because of like I don't know, just the way they like Gone Home was like it wasn't super Gone Home was also optimistic yeah. too. So like, I was like I think it'll like, be okay, but it takes you to the really low point yeah. and then it brings you back up as kind of like a resistant hopeful message of like there's still people out there that give a shit and there's still optimism and and positivity to be had in the face of such disgustingly grim scenarios in this future um yeah no in in basically in the like in the in the reveal moment of of alien basically ripley does find out that orders from Wayland yutani to preserve the alien because they they want to they want to study the alien for like weapon capabilities yeah i believe yeah and yeah crew expendable yep well Man. wow that was such a good game good jesus game. christ how long was I that a... that was like three streams right so it was like six hours about hours-ish. six hours yeah. that was that just stayed it's welcome like it yeah. just was like well, and also, like, if you didn't, if you're somebody in the chat that, like, hasn't played it, I mean, maybe you should just go play it. It is still free on Twitch. Like, you can go play it with maybe the commentary or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, if you that want to. interesting, yeah. Or just to, like, you know, explore the space or look yeah. at things that we skipped over, you know, like, really kind of soak the, the story. The commentaries in. are always interesting, at least to me, because, like... I, it's just always mm-hmm. interesting how they like the, uh, designed obviously the spaces and then just sort of came up with the different characters they usually get into. The other thing that I thought was kind of cool, I mean, this is obvious, but like the way they like just like, because you know how in Gone Home, like everything is like connected to like power, like in like the wall sockets. I liked how they kind of kept that with all the like random tubes and stuff in this game. Like, yeah. Like, and they also like all the characters like step over them, like, but like they step over them in a way that is just like i don't know the way the animations were just to me this looked like they were just like oh yeah i, I always have to walk over this giant cable <laughs> i know something about mm-hmm. that i like those little touches that they do yeah i feel like in another game you could just see them like clipping through it or something because they didn't think that hard or didn't want to animate it so yeah yeah i don't know just small things i like about tacoma also being able yeah. to open all the little like uh the window things yeah but yeah, yeah, it's a really cool. It's also just a cool space station to walk around in too. Like all the little places, like it was a fun place to be in too, or just interesting. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Tacoma's good. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Even though I've never heard anybody say they didn't like it or anything. I think when it first came out, though, I did hear some people say like it was a little disappointing compared to Gone Home. But I, I don't know what was disappointing, but. I'd have to go, maybe go back and see what people because I didn't. It had like a it got grander super, scope. Yeah. It had a grander technical scope than. Yeah. 
I don't know. People complain about shit all the time. Yeah. Okay, well, that was yep. uh, that was Tacoma. Um, that was all of it. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to stream next on Friday, but something. Uh, haven't decided. But yeah, so... Um, yeah, I guess Robo Witch isn't here, so I got the, the usual stuff. If you want to follow, if you haven't followed already, um, we'll be streaming on Friday, but it'll let you know when we're streaming. Um, also, if you want to subscribe and support me that way, too, you can do that. I have an emote, too. So, and you don't get ads or anything. Uh, and I, th you get, like, the subscri subscriber-only chat, but I'm never probably going to use that, so there's that. Um, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter, which I announce when I'm, when I'm streaming, too. Uh, and then, yeah, there's the Discord, which also has the emote if you have Discord Nitro and want to use it, but also it lets you know when we're streaming. Uh, and then, yeah, there's Apple stuff, and well, I guess we're finishing Mist tomorrow. We're yeah. being mis mis yeah. blah, 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 finishing Mist tomorrow. Yeah. Mist tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and we got a new episode of our podcast, too, which we talked about Mist, kind of, in Abduction. Yeah. Um, puzzle games. Puzzle games, Portal, because not enough people talk about Portal. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.